Alright, so today we're gonna talk about parts base. I said parts base. I said I said parts base. I mean part bases, and why some guys build them and get rid of them. I, I, Alright, so this is what we call a parts base. This is a Hobo Depot parts base. Basically, what this base is is a Specter. It's a, a prototype Specter. Is what it is. You never seen a Specter like this. I only seen one. A guy from Cameo. Aaron Mills. Aaron has one, but his pickup is right there. But this is a prototype of a Spectre that never hit the market, all right? And it's a real Spectre. All right, so I got my little Hobo Depot thing up there because I put parts in it, and I can't call it Spectre because, hey, it never hit the market. But I know it's a Spectre. All right, so I got what I did. I put I put a Seymour Duncan in it, a bad ass, a bad, whoo, that's a, that's a bad word. <laughs> a, bad bri a bad bridge on it. And um, it came with nothing in it when I when I got the, the base, and it was fretless when I got it. Now it's all fretted up, and I put a nine volt battery in it, and it's got a tone monster in it. All right, so what we're gonna do? I'm, first thing we'll do is talk about the base. All right, so why would I build a base with a Music Man pickup in it? Oh, that's easy. Why? Because I love Music Man, and. If I love music, man, I'm going to build something that's close to my ear. You know, a lot of guys build part bases, and they're not even close to the ear they like. They just got parts laying around, so they build them and expect the bass to do 100 and million, 100 and million, 2,000 things. <laughs> I said 100 and million and 2,000. <laughs> it can't do 100 and million, 2,000 if it's not close to your ear. But for somebody else, it might be really good. But you need to build a bass if you, if you plan on doing a part bass. At least build a base that's that's close to your ear. That you don't have to, you know, you can live with it for at least over two weeks. <laughs> Some guys build a man and then two weeks later they try to get rid of it. Uh, I didn't turn out like the way I wanted it. If the base actually did turn out the way you wanted it, problem is it wasn't it wasn't built the way you wanted it. You know, you had like I said, you had parts laying around, or somebody gave you some parts and. You thought this part would match that part. You didn't do your, your research on your woods, uh, your pickups, or your preamp. And that is where everything goes wrong. All right, so like I said, I'm a music band guy, so I'm going to build something close to my ear. And what would that be? It'd be a music man. So with the Tone Monster preamp, it has volume and, and of course, back and front. But, you know, because it's a single, it's a single pickup, I didn't want to go that way. I just went straight. You know, everything was got to go. And then they got bass and trouble at the top. So, I'm coming through the um, Phil Jones amp. And so I'm going to turn it on. Now, I don't want to hear what the amp sounds like. I want to hear what the bass sounds like. So what I do? I turn everything almost to one. So I just want to crack it. I mean, just want to crack one on the trouble, one on the mids, and one on the bass. Because I want to hear what the bass sounds like. So, with nothing on... This is nothing on. With nothing on, this is what I got. See, now I know that sounds like a music man to me. The neck is amazing. I don't even know what kind of wood that is, but it's amazing. Look, it's wood. <laughs> So now, naturally, I know what this bass sounds like, naturally. So that's my ear. So all I have to do is dial in what's naturally, you know, from the bass to, to, to satisfy me. So I got bass in trouble. I don't have no mids. From what I can hear right now, the mid sounds pretty good coming through this bass. It's almost 90 something degrees out here, folks. 
take a base out of out of the air conditioning and bring it out in the heat, this is what happens. You see it? So what the neck is trying to do is get adjusted to this heat because it came straight out of air conditioned place. So what I should have done is brought the bass out here early, and I'm trying. I'm trying to tell y'all what to do. If you go out, if you're doing an outdoor gig, and you're driving to the gig, your your bass is in air conditioning, all right? The moment you get out the car, and you take that bass out the bag, it's got to start adjusting. So you need to get there early enough where the bass can adjust to the heat of where you are. I don't care what kind of bass you got. You could have, uh, you know. Twenty thousand dollar Olympic, but if you take it out of a bag and it's been in air conditioning and goes outside in ninety eight degree heat, trust me. Not only is that base gonna move, you will move too. <laughs> Look, you will move too with all that pressure on you too. So a lot of times you can just take your strings and pull them. So you, so you let you know your neck know that hey look man I'm trying to get you straight here bro. You need you need to act right. See we learned something today. It's truly hot out here. It's truly hot. I'm not joking. And I can't get, like I said, I can't get mad at her that she wants to move. See? But once she gets settled in, once she gets settled in, she's a beast. <laughs> Let's take it a 
three quarters, the basic three quarters. <laughs> She's a beast. Tone Monster preamp. Seymour Duncan pickup. Spectre. Neck and body. Come on, man. Come on, man. If it's sounding incredible coming through this amp right here, can you imagine what it's going to be sounding like coming through my BBC cab or my Mark based stuff? Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, shout out to Kaga, folks. Thank you for coming by my channel. Please subscribe, please share, please like, please look, please pass it on to everybody else. Um, please keep praying for the, the, my Hobo Depot and put, keep keep praying for the Queen and I. Because we pray for y'all every morning. I know y'all hear this every time I end the videos. It's like, you guys, he always say he pray for every morning. I do, man. Every morning, bro, before a lot of you even get up. The majority of y'all sleep. I'm out here outside. In the backyard, I'm praying for you guys, man. That's right, I come out the house to do it. So it's amazing for me to make sure that you guys get what you need. Your families are safe. You're safe. Your gifts are, are escalating higher and higher. God is blessing y'all for your gifts to be escalated higher and higher so we can meet. Man, I hey, one more thing I want y'all guys to do. I want you to pray that I get an opportunity to meet all of y'all in different countries, different cities, definitely different countries. Starting now just start praying now guys anyway thanks again one note will save the world folks if you remember that we will all be shot a cock out we out of here oh uh in case y'all didn't see hootie and his player his player girlfriends are sitting over here they want y'all want me to do some okay hey hootie and your girlfriends okay we did that i don't even know why you're in the video because he's just acting crazy oh dang every time i turn around you're acting crazy do you ever go 
ever gonna mind me. I don't know. Probably not. 